So uh, now it's another day. Yeah, another day. Another episode. I'm still wearing the same clothing. Uh, I just wear the same sweatshirt. Hey, at least you haven't worn something for four weeks straight now. <laughs> maybe next. Maybe next week I'll have next. Uh, next time I'll have something different. Maybe something from Disney. Mm, maybe it's always. Always fun going to Disney, but yeah. I uh, actually still have that Sasquatch soap uh, you oh, bought me for like sophomore oh, year in high school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I no, still haven't yeah, opened no. it. It's the thing is like it's it's stuff so good that to look at you don't want. And I that. actually know exactly where it is. I keep it. Um, yeah. like this little white cabinet I have in yeah. my bed that's yeah. piled under a bunch of like my wallet and keys yeah. and whatnot. They but still they there. still have those soaps. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, uh, uh, now uh, that we're pretty now we're into twenty eighteen now. Yeah, so. The world uh, still hasn't ended. No, as so, far as we know from this recording. Yeah. Um, uh, who knows? If, if this recording is up, comment that the world hasn't ended. Yes. For once, but, we need comments. But I figured since it's New Year, let look back on some of the mm. things we liked or didn't like about 2017 and what we're looking forward into uh, 2018. And I'll start by saying that who expected the Vegas Golden Knights to be in first place? Well, as an expansion team in their very first year, how are they doing so good? Well, they did pick up some good key component players. Um, they have goalie Marc-Andre Fleury, who won Stanley Cups with the Pittsburgh Penguins, who you could argue, yes, he has one of the most wins of all time, but that he's also playing with possibly one of the best players of all time, yeah. Sidney Crosby. <laughs> Got you got Malkin. Um, you got a barking dog. Uh, <laughs> Zoe, quiet. Zoe, shush. You go for a walk? You come get treats? You treat? You treat? You treat? Shut up. Um, I told you, she should have been the mascot. No, she's not allowed. She's banned from being the mascot. <laughs> she, she's the squirrel that runs onto the field. Oh, yeah. Mm. Speaking of which, we haven't actually had one of those in a while in sports, like a wild animal just running onto the pitch. I haven't seen that. Like no, although every spring training you yeah, usually have a, something. You always have a bees once every mm-hmm. spring training, yeah, maybe so. twice. So and it's always comical to see at times. Yeah, um, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, ben- th- they have some good players that they picked up, um, and I think you just throw these ragtag. Sort of, they're not like the worst of the yeah, worst, but, but it's a thing that this has never happened before. I I said in my video a few weeks ago, the closest comparison is the Arizona Diamondbacks, and they sucked their first year too. It took to their second year that they finally got things going, yeah. and then you have the history of teams like the uh, the Mariners that it took tw- about twenty twenty five years before they got into the playoffs. You had the, uh, and they still haven't gotten to a World. The Series. Marlins. Oh, won. the Mariners. Excuse me. The Marlins. Yeah, the the Marlins took a few years themselves. They were another close team. Sorry, I got my fish uh, mixed up. <laughs> although different con- leagues. Although considering how many rebuilds that they've had, it, it could seem like an eternity yeah. still. Yeah. So I, I I think it's still way way early in the hockey season. If you look in the Metropolitan Division, I think there's like eleven points that separate first and last place in that division, mm-hmm. and in hockey, you get two points for a win. So if you get five wins in a week in a ten game period, that's ten points. So if you can, if that last place team goes eight and two, they get sixteen points, and that first place team only gets like four wins or something. That's a six game. There, that's twelve points right there, and they jump ahead. Yeah. And you see that countless times in the NHL as the season wears on. So Vegas, Vegas Golden Knights, yes, they are doing well right now, and I expect them to contend for a playoff spot. But I don't think they win the division. I, I if, don't think. Yeah. Yes, they are good, and these players were like, oh, we were the unprotected players, but they're the ones that were just sort of like, hey, we have to prove ourselves that we're on this team and we want to win. Uh, if, if they do get into the, the uh, postseason, how far do you think they're going? Obviously, I don't think they'd get the Stanley Cup in their first round. No, I, I don't do you think, think they win so, the playoff but, series? Um. I think they might, depending on who they get matched up with. Mm-hmm. Um, this, uh, the Kings are always a good team. The Chicago Blackhawks are always a great team. The Blues are doing pretty well. Um, you just sort of see like all these teams, and 
they're all doing well, but it, it really depends on who the matchup is against mm-hmm. and how long these series take. I think with Flurry, who's towards the end of his career, mm-hmm. um, he still has a good couple of years left, which is why the Vegas Golden Knights took him. Yeah. Um, also that the Penguins didn't really have too much of a need because he's won cups with them. But at the same time, he, they have other they, players. They, they, they've got a really good goalie now, uh, who sort of took over. And exactly. but he brings that veteran presence of I've won multiple cups. Yeah. Maybe not because of me, but I've been there. I've been I know there, how I to know do it, this. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of these young guys that were then unprotected. He can from help. These other vet, teams. He can help foster a yes. good culture in and the clubhouse. It's a very good thing. So. As much as I don't think Marc Andre Fleury is a first ballot Hall of Famer or anything, um, I, I definitely, depending on what he can do now in this backcourt of his career, can do with these Vegas Golden Knights, could very well push him into Hall of Fame categories. Like I said, he has one of the most wins of all time uh, for a goalkeeper, but it, he thrived on a very good offensive team that he was yeah. able to. Do that with, uh, yeah. but I think this Golden Knights thing is what will determine if he gets into the Hall of Fame yeah. or not. Yeah, if he can bring the the Golden Knight, the Golden Knights, the Golden Knight, <laughs> Vegas Knights. Yeah, the Golden Knight. If he can bring the Golden Knights to deep, a deep playoff run, surprising multiple happen. years in a row. Yeah, mul- mul- well, even if you start now, yeah. then you do it. But if he can do that in his first year, that really cements his legacy. Yeah. But I, I see them winning one playoff round. Maybe, maybe two. That's the thought I'm I know you're not super big into hockey. Uh, no, but I still but think that's it, an amazing it, it story. It is. It, it is. It's a, it's a very good and interesting story. And I really haven't had a chance to watch too much hockey this year. Yeah. Um, I've watched more basketball this year, and that's only one and a half games. Um, <laughs> one and a half so, games. Um, both for Celtic wins. Um, hey, you're lucky. <laughs> it's so, not Yankee losses. Yeah. So, uh, old friend Miles. We, we have that. Um, but now we mentioned the Marlins uh, yeah. earlier after you mix up your fish. Yeah. Uh, we mentioned, we've actually mentioned them a lot in the few months yes. we've been recording. So the Marlins, uh, they had their sale. Uh, they're still yeah. having their sale. Yeah. It seems like every, every, now that they're trading, thing, everyone wants out of the team. Yeah. The, the biggest thing was Stanton. Yeah. Um, and as I said, the the reason they didn't get a bigger haul was because he had that no trade. Had, they had better deals with the uh, Cardinals and the Giants. They actually got a couple of the players in from the Cardinals in the later uh, Ozuna deal. Yeah. But it was either the Yankees with two prospects in Starling Castro, or the uh, Dodgers who had two prospects. But you also had to take Adrian Gonzalez, who you couldn't fit in the roster, mm-hmm. and Brandon McCarthy, who's Signed for a couple more years, and Castro is not only worth uh, less than either of those two players, but they could also use him because they traded their second baseman away, so they can use him in the now Mm. to hold over. Speaking of the Giants and the outfield situation, I don't know what's going to transpire in these next couple weeks until this episode's uploaded. Editor, put it put on the thing uh, what they've uh, done uh, since then. Apparently, uh, Ellsbury might waive his no trade clause for the Giants. Their spring training grounds are near his, where he's currently living in Arizona. Uh, and it's, I don't want to say a short plane ride over to San Francisco yeah. from there, but it's a lot closer than New York. Yeah. Um, so that might be a thing, and the Yankees then get get more of his contract yeah. off but there and get under that salary. But here's the thing. If, remember that the Yankees are looking for sal- salary relief. Yes. And no matter how much they eat on Ellsbury's contract, they're still, the Giants are still going to have to pay a lot. And if they sign a Jay Bruce, say, mm-hmm. they're not really going to be inclined to do it. They might say, oh, there's a Jared Dyson who plays a much better center fielder, is younger, mm-hmm. and we'll go that route, and uh, we're not interested in... Yeah, it, it's think, just the overthought. Yeah. They not. do seem to be in a buy now mo- a buy now mode, especially with uh, Evan Longoria coming and finally solidifying yes. the third base since. Uh, I always wish he went to the Yankees. Always did. It ne- never would have happened. Mm-hmm. It never would have. Um, On the plus side, at least we we got rid of a Yankee killer in the division. He yeah. really. Yeah. Hurt. Although they still have uh, Steven Souza, mm-hmm. who's an even better Yankee killer mm-hmm. on the team. 
Yeah. So, I, I don't think the Orioles are going to trade Machado to the Yankees. That's probably not going to happen. Cur- he's not going to be traded at all. You know mm-hmm. why? Because, one... They're not giving any team an extension window to sign him because he's a free agent after next year. So that gets rid of a lot of teams. And two, he wants a verbal or written agreement that I I would say... People get an extension. Yeah, no, not that I get an extension. That you will not trade him before the trade, the until close to the trade deadline because he doesn't... The owner, Peter Angelos, doesn't want anyone flipping Machado to the Yankees. Yeah. He is that paranoid. Yep. So the market is basically evaporated. Yep. And it's another one of those Baltimore uh, weird trade things. Like, they should have traded Zach Britton uh, at the trade deadline last year. Mm, now he's uh, hurt. He's hurt, and they've basically lost all his trade value, mm-hmm. so they're stuck with it unless they sign an extension. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Kansas City Royals were in the same boat last year. They should have traded uh, Hosmer or Moustakis. Mm-hmm. They tried to go... For a run and they couldn't, so now they just get a couple draft picks. Mm, so it, it's the the Machado thing. It's Machado's the reason why uh, Mustakis and a cut Frazier and other third basemen haven't moved, because the guys who signed those two guys can't sign uh, Machado or Josh Donaldson. And I I know Machado saying, "Oh, I want to play shortstop." I think he might actually be too valuable at third base yeah. once. He's a free agent. That a team will say, "No, we're playing you at third. We already have a good short. We have a good shortstop. We know, but we know you're great at third base, and we want to have a great defensive." A Rod had to switch to third. Yeah. So. Yeah, but A Rod wasn't exactly a no, uh, gold glove. At no, third base. but it's it sort of you yeah. had to yeah. go where you're going. If you want to get a three hundred million dollar contract, like he very well might command. Mm. Uh, if he has a very good season this year. He might year. might even have $400 million yep. if he signs after uh, yep. Harper. Yep. So, but we'll it, see. It, it depends. Uh, speaking of placing players, uh, football, uh, there's gonna, there could be like 10, 11 teams uh, next season uh, who might have a quarterback change, which is yeah. almost half the league. Yeah. Uh, no, it's definitely a it, uh, it's quarterback shaken up. market. So Josh McCown of the Jets broke his hand, done for the season. Yeah. Um, and he was really a one-year rental as the Jets were still yeah. trying to transition after all these years. Uh, the, Giants, the Giants, we don't know what they're doing. We don't know what they're, do know what they're doing. Kirk Cousins of the Redskins is the biggest wild card of them all. He can command, depending on if the Redskins put a franchise tag on him for the third year, mm-hmm. uh, for the third time, uh, that'll be, I believe, uh, over $34 million for one year, Jesus. which is by far the highest thing. I think the next closest is $26 million for a quarterback right you're, now. You're getting up, when you're in the 30s, you're starting to get up to MLB prices. Yeah. Of salary, the, the, like like this uh, is Zach Ranke or Giancarlo yeah. Stanton. Cousins doesn't want to be there. The Redskins are only keeping him because he's good and he's like their only good player. Yeah. Um, so th- that's going to be interesting. Also interesting are the Minnesota Vikings, who they have uh, Teddy Bridgewater just came back, who showed he could be a decent quarterback. Mm-hmm. They got Sam Bradford to replace him uh, when Bridgewater got hurt. And Bradford, while I think he's always been a good quarterback, he mm-hmm. suffered from a bad Rams team, uh, and then he got hurt again. Mm-hmm. And then now they have Case Keenum, who's been a very good quarterback. Um, so now you have these three quarterbacks who are all uh, going to be free agents next year. Um, who do you play? Who do you pick? Um, Big Ben could retire at the end of the year. You, you don't know you, about that. You also have uh, uh, what's his face in the Patriots? Who um, Brady? Yeah, Br- Tom Brady. Why did I forget his name? You never. He's at his age. You never know. You, you don't know because he's showing he's slipping a little bit now. And look at with the uh, the Eagles with Carts and Wentz going yeah. down. If that happens very yeah. late into the season, you might have a situation where a quarterback, an established quarterback, might be out for a significant amount of time. Yep. Yeah, so um, you but, don't know. And with all this stuff, that there's one guy on the Bengals who played for Alabama, won national titles. I thought it was good enough. Tom Brady status, Big Ben. No, but I thought he was like in a Joe Flacco area where you can win a championship with him. He just needs to like be given the reins to go. It's A.J. McCarron. He's been stuck behind uh, 
but uh, I can't even think of his name right now. Uh, but the quarterback for the Bengals, mm. and while he hasn't been doing bad, the Bengal quarterback, McCarron is being held back. He's getting into his late twenties now. He doesn't have much time, and he was almost traded to the Browns, but the Browns decided to celebrate yeah. and forgot to call in the NFL and say, "Hey, we have the trade down." Yeah. Um, so they missed out on that, and McCarron's now upset, and he's sending a, yeah. a lawsuit, I believe, towards him. Uh, so, because it, 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 it's because I think he's like a free agent or something, or there's yeah. all these weird things that could be going on, and it's I think he needs to go to a team and yeah. figure out what's going on. You could probably put a clip of the uh, my uh, baseless Giants prediction that they'd win, but I'll have one safe prediction about quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. The Cleveland Browns will probably have yet another quarterback. Yeah, they're, they're just they're just, they they have a lot of wrong stuff. Stuff. It's funny seeing the. Uh, and the uh, Democrats with the uh, tax reform that was uh, recently passed as of mm-hmm. this video, and w- one of them was saying like a lot of fantasy things that that are go- going to happen, and one of them was, and the Cleveland Browns will win the Super Bowl. Yeah. It, it's I don't. Yeah. It's, yeah, the, but the Browns are uh, they're a mess. They're a mess. Like with my Jets, I I know they're going to lose. It's just how they're going to lose. But at least they win a few games. Yeah. The Browns, they you're lucky if they win one game. Yep, they have so far as of this recording, they haven't won a game yeah. this season. So we'll see if they'll become the yeah. second zero and sixteen yeah. team after the Lions. Yes, yeah. but before we end, I want to circle back what you said: lawsuits and something in Major League Baseball. Mm-hmm. If you remember Dustin Fowler, yes, when he was with the Yankees, he had that yes, horrific yes. injury in the in uh, Minnesota. No, and uh, Chicago with the White Sox. Yes, and he got uh, he lost the season. He was mm-hmm. traded for Sonny Gray. And now he's actually suing the White Sox, yes. saying that they knew of the unsafe Yep, and they uh, just condition. haven't done anything yeah. yet about that. The thing I'm amazed with this is, I've never heard anything like this being brought forth without the Players Association yeah. or anything. Yeah, that, that took me aback a little bit, and I was just like, what? And I'm like, good for him. Good for him, but um, I hope he gave some notice to the, to the Players Association, yeah. because I've... The closest I could think is maybe Kirk Flood back in the pr- when they were trying to get free agency, but it's been a while and I don't really see any comparables. If it was the Players Association bringing it on behalf of him, that'd be one thing. But this is yeah. The, where do you think this is going to go? He's a rookie with technically not even a game under his belt. Yeah, he doesn't he have that official. Finish, up- he didn't finish that half inning or get that. Uh, yeah. That. So. Uh, I, I don't know. He probably doesn't have much money to take on the whole MLB. Yeah. Uh, maybe Roger Goodell can shell out some of his two hundred million dollars <laughs> yeah. and help him out. Yeah. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I just. I just see it as you on all history. You've had weird things. The Philadelphia had the weird subway tunnel hill back in the thirties. Mm-hmm. Uh, Houston had Towels Hill. Mm-hmm. You have the the monster, the corner, all these weird mm-hmm. things. I doubt a team would be that blindsided to predict against every single injury there's mm. murphy's law is a thing there's yeah. always going to be a freak accident that yeah. you can't uh yeah. predict against yeah. and on that bombshell i think it's time to end yes All right. uh, we'll see you with live video of, of well not live of uh, live as in recent yes of uh, what, what's happening. So we won't be talking about stuff that happened in the old year. Yes. Time for right. a good 2018. See we'll see you then.